it is, Rich Nation. What's happening with y'all? Ooh, Today's a good one, man. Today's a good day. Blessed day. You feel me? And I hope everybody, each and every one of y'all, is having a blessed day today, man. Early Jordans, you know what I'm saying? That's how we gonna say it. We gonna say it like that. We gonna say early, 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 early. Shot, I got these things early on there. Jordans, man, you feel me? Today, I just want to um, really just thank everybody, all the people that support me, all the people that support Rich Nation, man, and uh, support this channel, man. Y'all some real ones, you know what I'm saying? Y'all here for me, I guess. Every now and once in a while, I get a person that be like, man, I don't want to hear you say nothing, Rich. I don't want to hear you say nothing. Get to the damn shoe. Where the shoes at, man? Why you talking so much? Where the shoes at? Well, I met with y'all too. But them people that just really support the movement and just here, because everybody got shoes on YouTube. Everybody. It's so many sneaker YouTube channels right now. It is ridiculous. You can find sneakers anywhere. But you can't find your boy Rich everywhere. So I appreciate y'all for supporting me. Your boy Mike Rich, man. And um, gotta get into the early unboxing, man. Shout out my guy Ryan G. Yes, Sirski. You know what I'm saying? And I wanna know if the I wanna know how these shoes look at hand, man. Cause on pictures, I was like, eh, not a must cop, but you know, they they might be something. But uh, I gotta check these things out of hand. But first, if you wanna keep your shoes cleansed, you already know what it is. Click my link below in the description. If you want to keep these shoes clean, man, if you want to keep these shoes looking A1 from day one, go ahead and click the link below in the description, my personal link for Rejuvenator, and automatically get 10% off your entire order with some of these fire cleaning products like these Rejuvenator cleaning wipes. I use these things like all the time. Keep them in my pockets. Keep them, keep them on my person. Well, that's why people say that, on my person. That's so weird. But man, I keep these things on me, man, because I never know when that first scuff of the day gonna come from you. Undie as a pair of shoes. And you know you're gonna get that first scuff at some point. You be hoping you don't get it. You be looking down at it. Well, I actually, honestly, I don't even do it no more, bro. I don't even look down at my shoes and check for scuffs. I used to do it. Now you wear a brand new pair of shoes and you constantly like, man. Hey, who got time to worry about that? You feel me? Who got time to worry about my shoes dirty? So you gotta have the Rejuvenator cleaner wipes just in case you get that little scuff action going on. But the reason, the main reason I don't worry about it because I already done sprayed it down this Rejuvenator water and stain repellent. You know what I'm saying? Because anything get on my shoes, as soon as I notice it, I just find a, some water somewhere. A water hose, a faucet, a fountain or something while I'm out, and I just stick my shoe up on it. Uh oh, I'm good. Yeah, that gets that off. That gets that to roll right off. Any kind of dirt, grime, uh, slime, you know what I'm saying? You gotta stay clean, man. Drippington, disgustingness. You gotta get it up off your shoes, man. So you gotta get this uh, shoe rejuvenator water and stain repellent. Spray it on your shoes, let it dry overnight, and the next day you will have that force feel around them, guys. So anyway, you can get these products, this rejuvenator water and stain repellent, and these uh, rejuvenated sneaker wipes by clicking the link below in the description, my personal link, and it'll automatically get you 10% off your entire order, man. Bring your Beatles back in the heaters with rejuvenator, man. Do it. Alright man, with all them goodies out the way, man, we gonna get into these shoes. Like I said, shout out to my guy Ron G. Y'all make sure y'all follow him, Ron G. He do a lot of early sneaker reviews and stuff like that. So y'all follow him, watch his reviews. He go into detail, show real close up on his sneakers and early reviews, man. Shout out to Ron G. For shipping this pair over to me, man. And I wanted to see what these things look like in hand, man. I want to see if they were better or worse. I want to compare them to another sneaker that came out that I have in my collection. I want to ask the question, do I really need these in my collection, man? And do I really have to have these? So let's go ahead and get into the unboxing. Home Depot box, remind me of them fine line. 1721 days. Shout out to my guy Dwayne Fine Line 1721 man. That boy still doing good, man. Still showing a little fine line. He just moved out of the he moved out of the uh resale game for a minute. Um to focus on more important stuff in his life. So shout out to Fine Line 1721. Um oh, here we go right here, man. So Woo! Man, let's see what they looking like, Rich Nation. Let's see what these guys looking like. Woo! Now you know. 
You know Ridge Nation, you know those number two shoes come in this box right here. That's your Air Jordan 5s and that's your Air Jordan 6s with that flip up action. Uh, last uh, early review I did was probably what, the Bordeaux 6s? I did those ones too, y'all go back and check out the um, ones with the cutaway, what you call them, uh, prototype. Go and check out that review as, as well. And the hiccups. Anyway, man, we're gonna get into these, man, see what they think. Look at like, I'm just gonna tell y'all the colorway and I'm gonna open it. I ain't gonna tell you what shoe it is. So the colorway, the official colorway is sale and orange blaze, blaze, and uh, a <laughs> retail price is $190, man. So let's go ahead and get into these things, man, see what they hitting on. You feel me? Let's see what we got here. And. There they is, right there, oh, boy. Now let me check them out, bro. Let me check these out of here. Woo! Hold up. Okay. Oh man. Now wait a minute. Cause I was thinking about keeping them for the review and just selling them to somebody, man. But oh no, bro. These, these right here is woo. The leather. Uh oh. Uh oh, Rich Nation. <laughs> the Air Jordan 5. I don't want to say it. I don't want to say it. People saying Shadow Backboard. I'm not going to say that. Orange Blaze is what I'm going to call these. What are sneakers calling them? That's the question. These don't sneakers yet. These things kind of cleanse though, my guy. The official name of these really hasn't been released yet. They not on sneakers and nothing like that, but all the trades and stuff like that, all the websites, the blog sites are calling them. Shout out Backboard, which I can slick understand for the simple fact that they got the orange and black and the sale. A lot of stuff that Jordan Bradman coming out with has the orange and black, but not actually the sale colorway, the dark kind of sale, you know what I'm saying, eggshell kind of color on the upper. And this leather on these is fire. Like, it's way better, way better. They should have put this kind of leather on the um, the OG Fire Reds that came out um, earlier. Actually have this little, um, I'm gonna take it out for the review, but you have this little white, little cardboard piece they begin, I guess, so this lace lock won't scratch up the tongue or whatever the 3m tongue i'm gonna take that out for the sake of the review you feel me but man hold on bro like these kind of hit hard bro you got that orange stitch jump man on the 3m um tongue right there you got the black and orange uh, lace lock up there in the front. There, you can see that orange jump man right there on the on the lace lock on the uh, on the jump man stitched on the um, tongue as well. And the upper of the shoe, like I said, is that mainly cell upper. We get that cell going on up here at the top. It has a um, netting. Like this little netting over it, that's way different than any other Jordan 5 I've ever seen. I've never seen them do this on the 5. And you also have, for the little collar cushion right here, it's like, it's just like a little, I don't know, just like a little pod right there under the netting. I actually think that's dope. <laughs> I actually think that's pretty clean right there. Um, this right here, you don't know if you can tell, but it's kind of like a, a blacked out um, see-through right here up here by the laces. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. On the back, you have your black stitch jump, man. Like I said, they be scared to put Nike Air on anything that's either not a collab or not an OG colorway. Um, same thing on this side with the clearness. And then on the midsole, of course, we have the orange uh, and the black with the metallic five kind of um, shark teeth right here. The, the uh, reflect, well not reflective, but the shiny shark teeth with the black speckles on it. Um, Air unit right here has that pre-yellow look slightly. Same deal on the other side. The black and the orange actually goes really dope together, especially with this cell upper. You know what I'm saying? Um, like I said, man, I wish they, they didn't give, I don't see no more laces in here, but I wish they would give us like black laces. Black laces will go crazy in these, but I want to show y'all how to, how kind of soft. And you can't really tell. It's not a tumbled leather, but it's a really like, soft, good 
grain, good quality leather on them thing, man. So I'm, I'm really feeling that. And also you have the pre-yellow bottoms, which is not like yellow, yellow, not like piss yellow. Had that red, I mean, is that a red jump, man? It looks red, but I think it's actually the same orange as in the rest of the shoe. It could be red. Most of the uh, jump mans at the bottom of joint fives is that red color. I wonder to compare it to these though. My shades right now in the damn shoes. Been looking for my shades and they been inside. There. I don't know why I was at why I put sunglasses inside shoes, but my, my Ray-Ban sunglasses that I've been looking for was inside this shoe. So it's a good thing I'm doing this review, man. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, it's not really a comparison because this yellow, this kind of like, I, I wonder to compare it because it kind of got like a cell. I thought was cell. This is not really cell. It's more like of a, a beige or a yellow on the off-white uh, fives. Um, but and, but this, these right here is actually that cell color. You know what I'm saying? You see it in person. Pictures don't do these justice. Let me say that off real. Pictures do not do this shoe justice. And it also slick got me wanting to keep this shoe because my first intention was like, I'm going to get this shoe and then I'm going to sell it. Um, I just want to get the review in, but this, I don't know, City's a hand, man, it's crazy. Now, they, to me, they not better <laughs> than the Off-White 5, but they are, they are dope. They got, this is, this shoe is unique and it sits in its own, it's like no poor man, nothing. This is definitely its own shoe right here, man. I just wish they came with another, since they were, since, since they been trying to throw extra laces and everything, I wish they would've came with like some orange laces. Orange laces was set because it, the shoe is so, Sale color, it's the left shoe right here. The sale color is so prominent on the shoe, like it's all over the shoe. It's most of the shoe. You only get those color hits at the bottom and on the tongue and stuff like that. And I think some of those bright orange laces, you gotta have a perfect orange though. That's why I wish it would've actually came with this shoe. Perfect orange hits on those laces will make these go super ridiculous crazy, man. So for right now, like I said, no on feet, this is not a pair that I planned on keeping originally, and I'm still trying to make my mind up what I want to do with this pair. But, like I said, that's only because I'm being selective, because a couple of years ago, even last year maybe, it would have been no question. These are fire, bro. Like, and I want to get my grade on them. From a one, one to 10, the Air Jordan 5, I guess Shadow Bat Boys, which y'all want to call them. I guess that's the tenant. That's the name we're going to go for until we get a real name. I say Orange Blaze, but let's just go with Shadow Bat Boy. From a 1 out of 10, man, I'm going to give these shoes a solid. Man, they look so much better in hand, bro. The leather. I'm going to have to give them a solid 7, bro. Like I said, man, a solid 7, which is a good grade. People be thinking because you don't give something a 10 or a 9, it's not a good grade. The solid 7 is a good grade, bro. I'm just trying to, speaking of grade, I'm just trying to make y'all, let y'all see this grade of leather up here. I'm trying to hold it the right way so y'all can see, cause in hand, all of this right here, all of this right here in hand is straight up battery. You feel me, man? So anyway, that's my review on the Air Jordan 5 Shattered Bat Boy, AKA Orange Blades, AKA Cell and Orange Things, man. Y'all comment below and tell me what y'all think of them. I couldn't really get outside to do a B-roll to show y'all how they look under the sunlight and all that stuff, but I did want to get y'all this video up tonight. That's the bottoms. That's another thing. The pre-yellows on the bottoms of the off-whites is a whole lot darker than these right here. It's like, I mean, I wore it a few times, but it still was darker when it was brand new. Um, I only wore these well, once, so that ain't even a few times. I wore these one time. So, um, yeah, man, it's, it's a con shoe to compare, but I don't know. I think DJ clean, man. I, it's, I'm still on the fence whether I want to keep them or not, but it's a really, really clean shoe. The Air Jordan 5 Starfish, a.k.a. It ain't Starfish. That's another thing why I don't call them Shadow Bat Boy. It ain't Starfish. Oh, on the inside, though. And we already got to do it. The main reason we can't call these Shadow Bat Boys to me is because it's not marketed as a Shadow Bat Boy. The inside is orange instead of having a backboard with shattered glass on it. So that's another thing you got to take into account. That's the inside. Like I said, size 12, my size, but on the fence whether I'm keeping these guys or not. And it ain't got nothing to do with the shoe. Like I said, it got more to do with me just being selective about buying sneakers. This year I'm trying to sell more sneakers than buy. But that leather quality on these is 
really, really good, and I love the netting up there. Just a dope shoe, different shoe, dope shoe. And if you like Jordan Fives, to me, if you like, if Jordan Five like your favorite silhouette, to me, these are a must cop. To me, you feel me? So anyway, I appreciate y'all for watching the video. Comment below what y'all think about these things. Y'all hit that thumbs up, like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Hit the notification bell so you can become a part of Rich Nation. Stand all the way up to the moon on them and keep watching my video because that's what I'm here for. Gone.